Hello, this is Miss Susan. Welcome to my channel Math and Short. Hope that you like my previous videos. Today's topic is about simplifying fractions. What is the fraction simplest form? A fraction is in simplest form when you can represent it using as few equal parts of a whole as possible. What? What is that? In another way, it means to write a fraction in its smallest form that cannot be simplified anymore. And it means that you write both the denominator and numerator in its smallest form. How can I do that? By division or by multiplication. Of course, if you not need the number to get smaller, you have to divide it instead of multiply it. How to recognize the fraction's simplest form and the one to stop dividing it? So, in some cases, you need a fraction in its simplest form, and you don't need you don't need to simplify it anymore. However, in some other cases, you will need a fraction which is isn't in its simplest form, and you need to simplify it to get the simplest form of it. So. There are two main things you need to find in the fraction simplest form. First, a prime number, which is a number that can't be divided by any number except 1 and itself. For example, like 1, or 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on. And the other number is a number that cannot be divided by the first number, which is the prime number. I can understand that you understand nothing from what I said. Let's give you an example. These are all some forms of simplest form. First, 1 over 4. The number here is 1. It's a prime number and a number that you can't simplify it anymore. It's just 1. How can you get it from the smallest number? except itself, 1, 2 over 5, or 2 fifths, 2 is the simplest form, because it's a prime number, and 5 also is a prime number, and both 2 and 5 cannot be divided by each other, so you can make it more smaller, 2 third, 2 is a prime number, 3 also is a prime number, 2 cannot be divided by 3, and also 3 cannot be divided by 2. 5 over 9. 5 is a prime number. And 9 cannot be divided by 5. Which is, isn't in timetable 5. 7 over 12. 7 is a prime number. And 12 is the second number which cannot be divided by 7. 11 over 20. 11 is a prime number. And 20 cannot be divided by 11. 3 over 4. 3 is a prime number. 4 cannot be divided by 3. 5 over 14. 5 is a prime number. And 14 is a number, the second number, which cannot be divided by 5. And so on. In another side, I will give you some examples of the fractions that isn't in its simplest form and need to simplify it more like 2 over 4. 2 is a prime number already, but 4 is the second number, but can be divided by 2. And the answer would be 2, if you divide 4 by 2. 2 over 6. 2 is a prime number, but 6 can be divided by 2. 2 over 8. 2 is a prime number, but 8 can divide by 2. So it isn't in its simplest form. 5 over 10. 5 is a prime number, 10 can divide by 5. 7 over 14, 7 is a prime number, 14 can be divided by 7, and so on. So all these numbers need to be simplified. How to simplify fractions? You need to know three rules. The first rule is to try to divide by the smallest number in the fraction. For example, 7 over 14. What is the smallest number here? It's 7. It's 
So let's try to divide the upper number and the lower number by 7, both the numerator and the denominator. How we divide? We divide the numerator with the numerator and the denominator with the denominator. 7 divided by 7 is equal 1. 14 divided by 7 is equal 2. So, this is rule number 1. Try to divide by the smallest number in the fraction. Rule number 2. If you have both numbers, the numerator and the denominator are even, try to divide by 2. Up and down, of course. So, for example, 4 over 10 or 4 tenths. The both numbers are even. So, let's divide both numbers by 2 up and down. Let's do that. 4 divided by 2 will equal 2. 10 divided by 2 will equal 5. And this is the simplest form. Why? Because 2 is a prime number and 5 cannot be divided by 2. Also, 5 is a prime number and 2 cannot be divided by 5. Rule number 3. If you have 0 or 5 in any of numerator or denominators, try to divide by 5. For example, 25 over 30. I have here 5 and I have here 0. So, I can divide both numbers by 5. Let's do that. 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5. 30 divided by 5 is equal to 6. For some students who can do the division, how we do the division? In the division, we go from the small number to the biggest number using the timetable 5. So you can say timetable 5 until you find 25. And then count how many steps you did to get 25. So for example, I will say now timetable 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. That's 5 steps. And we will do the same here. How we divide 10 by 2. We use timetable 2 to get 10. So say now with me timetable 2 to get 10. And count how many steps you did. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. That's 5 steps. And we will do the same with timetable 7 to get 14. Say timetable 7. 7, then 14. That's 2 steps. Okay, rule number four, there is an additional rule. If you cannot apply any of the previous rules and you have odd and even number in your fraction, you can divide by three or seven. For example, if I have nine over 24, nine is an odd number, but 24 is an even number. So. In this case, we will try to divide by 3. So let's divide 9 by 3. Say timetable 3 to get 9. 3, 6, 9. That's 3 steps. So the answer would be 3. Then, say timetable 3 to get 24. That's how many steps? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. So that's 8 steps. Now, 3 over 8 is in its simplest form because 3 is a prime number and 8 cannot be divided by 3. Let's practice. 4, 8. I have two even numbers, right? So I can use rule number 2, divide by 2. Or I can use rule number 1. Divide by the smallest number in the fraction. The smallest number here is 4. So let's divide by 4. Up and down, of course. 4 divided by 4 equals 1. And 8 divided by 4 equals 2. And that's the simplest form because I have 1. It's a prime number and it's in its simplest form. Another example. 5 over 20. 5 over 20, I have 5 and 0. So we can use rule number 3. Divide by 5, up and down. 5 divided by 5 is equal 1. 20 divided by 5 is equal 4. And that's the simplest form because I have 1 up. Also, 
also 6 over 12. 6 over 12, we can try rule number 1, which divide by the smallest number, which is 6. So we divide up and down the both the numerator and the denominator with 6. 6 divided by 6 equal 1. 12 divided by 6 equal 2. And this, this is the simplest form. 14 divided by 49. Now, let's try rule number 1. Let's divide by 14. Can I divide 49 by 14? No. Let's try rule number 2. Do we have two even numbers? No. So we can't apply it. Rule number 3. Do we have 5 or 0? No. So both the three rules cannot be implemented. So let's try rule number 4. Divide by 3. Can I divide here by 3? No. Or divide by 7. Can I divide 14 by 7? Yes. 14 divided by 7 is equal to 49 divided by 7 is equal to 3. And this is the rule that is equal to 7, sorry. And this is the rule number 4. 18 over 28. We have here both even numbers. So we can divide by 2 and use rule number 2. 18 divided by 2 is equal 9. 28 divided by 2 is equal 14. And this is the simplest form here. We have both numbers can be divided by each other. And here this is the simplest form. I have a prime number and the other number cannot be divided by it. 9 over 12. Now I have one odd number and one even number. So this is rule number 4. Let's divide by 3 up and down. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. And this is the simplest form. Finally, please note, in some cases we need to simplify a fraction many times to get the simplest form. For example, 6 over 48. We have two even numbers, so we can use rule number 2. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. 48 divided by 2 is equal to 24. Now, it's not still the simplest form. Why? Because I have here a prime number and the other number can be divided by 3. So, I can use rule number 3. If I have odd and even number, so divide by 3 or 7. Let's divide by 3. 3 divided by 3 is equal 1. 24 divided by 3 is equal 8. And that's now the simplest form because I have 1, a prime number is up. Thank you for watching my video. See you.